So on April 30th, we conducted our third public session. Uh, we had about 65 people in the audience. I would say probably a third of those, maybe a little bit more, were new to the entire process. Uh, the invitation list has been built over time. There's about 250 emails that went out um, asking people to attend. There was uh, news coverage. And so uh, we got a, a relatively decent crowd at that time, but that, that didn't denote their level of engagement. Um, you know, overall, I think the feedback and response we received was positive to where we are, though certainly we had some good challenges, uh, challenges that we take to heart and some great feedback. There are some questions and concerns about gentrification and about changing neighborhoods, which we want to address and try to address. Even those that had expressed some concerns or frustration in the process, uh, the consulting team tried to engage as many of those one-on-one uh, -on -one as possible. So what we did in the meeting is we caught everybody up with, once again, where we are in the process, where we are in the project. Um, Matthew Petty, uh, part of the consultant team, actually walked through some elements of how we defined incremental development, uh, which is very much about a long-term sort of investment strategy. So it isn't just about one big project or two big projects, but it's about change in neighborhoods that is inevitable. Change is inevitable, but how you change is the choice. And I think this is really what we're trying to capture here in the plan. And so what Matthew talked about over that long-term change is how do you capture value in that long-term change that actually allows the city to develop the resources it needs to do the enhanced streetscapes, to develop the park, to look at some of those things that we're hearing from the community that they're wanting from the public sector. After that was done, we broke the group up into four areas uh, for more robust discussion on um, some categories. One is arts and culture. What we've heard over the past several months is that arts, culture, culinary, food, all of those elements are a really important piece to the experience of Midtown. And so we wanted to make sure that we captured as many ideas there. We also wanted to talk about housing, uh, the types of housing that people want, some of the concerns, questions around housing. We had a group that talked about transportation and street improvements. And we also had a group that talked about um, business recruitment as well. And this plan cannot address absolutely everything that is necessary in the Midtown area. Some of this is about policy. Some of this is about action. So it is recognized through this entire process that this plan is not the answer, that it is a tool and a prompt to move Midtown forward, but it's gonna take a lot of different groups coming together coordinated development to move this forward. And I think that's the other piece that kind of came out of these four committee conversations is the fact that the city isn't the answer to every single challenge, that it's gonna take the businesses, the nonprofit sector, the neighborhood groups, as well as just the neighbors themselves to come to the table to try to figure out solutions to these ongoing and continued challenges and to take advantage of the opportunities that'll come out of this process.